Hi friends, today's topic is midpoint circle algorithm. So here the circle equation is suppose center of a circle is x e y c. So circle equation is x minus x e whole square plus y minus y c whole square is equal to r square. This is the equation of a circle. Suppose if center of a circle is zero comma zero, the circle equation is x square plus y square is equal to r square. Now our concept is. We know one point of the circle. By using that point, we have to draw the entire circle. So it is generally very difficult to draw entire circle. We are using some symmetry property of the circle. So what is the symmetry property of the circle? For example, this is a circle with some radius r. Symmetry property means the circle is divided into eight octets. For example, this portion. If this point is x comma y, suppose we are calculating this portion, and similarly this portion, all the points as minus x minus y. Suppose in this part we are getting a point two comma three. Now in this portion, the point is simply minus two comma minus three. Similarly, suppose this point is y comma x. Thus, this portion, the point is minus y minus x. This is the way we are calculating similar properties. Now, suppose we are first to calculating this portion of a line and consider unit x-intervals. Unit x-intervals. If first two point is x k y k, so unit is x-intervals means the next two point x k plus one comma y k plus one. This is the next point. X k plus one value is x k plus one unit x interval. Y k plus one value is our required value. So y k plus one value is either same value y k. In Bresenman's line drawing algorithm, y k plus one value is either y k or y k plus one because the line drawing from starting to ending in this fashion. Each and every time y value is same or incremented, but in circle we are draw the circle from top to bottom. So top to bottom either same value or reduce the y value by one. That means either y k or y k minus one. These are the two possible points. So the two possible points for the circle are. x k plus one comma y k or x k plus one comma y k minus one. These are the two points. So this is a midpoint circle algorithm. Calculate mid. Mid is equal to x one plus x two by two. For example, these two points are x one y one, x two y two. Mid is equal to x one plus x two by two comma y one plus y two by two. X k Plus one, y k plus y k minus half. That is y k minus half. This is the point. Now the equation f circle of x k plus one comma y k minus half is equal to x square plus y square minus r square. That is x k plus one whole square, y k minus half whole square. Minus r square. This is considered as an initial decision parameter P k. This is initial decision parameter. Now calculate P k plus one. So P k plus one is equal to x k plus one plus one y k plus one minus half. The equation is x k plus one plus one whole square y k plus one. Minus half whole square minus r square. Similar to Bresenman's, calculate p k plus one minus p k is equal to x k plus one plus one whole square plus y k plus one minus half whole square minus r square minus x k plus one whole square plus r square. Both r square terms are cancelled, so this is a plus b whole square formula. That is a square 
x square k plus 1. So before going to x k plus 1, wherever x k plus 1 appears, x k plus 1 is automatically the next to x coordinate. The next to x coordinate is always x k plus 1. So x k plus 1. This is a square plus b square plus 2 into x k plus 1 plus a minus b whole square y square k plus 1. We don't know the next to y term. So we know the only next to x term. Next to x term is always x k plus 1. y square k plus 1 plus 1 by 4 minus y k plus 1. Next minus x k plus 1 whole square minus y square k plus 1 by 4 that means minus 1 by 4 minus y k means plus y k so 1 by 4 and 1 by 4 cancel x k plus 1 whole square x plus whole square are cancel now p k plus 1 is equal to p k plus 2 into x k plus 1 plus so y square terms so y square terms are y square k plus 1 minus y square k simply represented as a pair and minus y k plus 1 minus y k so cancel so this term is 1 this is the addition parameter p k plus 1 p k plus 1 is equal to p k plus this is the equation now The next step is calculate initial decision parameter. The initial decision parameter is P0. P0 is for the first point. First to consider the first point as 0, R. Simply in the circle, we are starting from this position. This position, the value is x coordinate value is 0, y coordinate value is R. So the point is 0, R. Suppose if you are drawing a circle from bottom to top, the point is R, 0 and it considers unit Y intervals. That is Y coordinate is fixed. We need to calculate the next X coordinates. So 0, R. So mid is equal to 0 plus 1, R minus half. So circle equation F circle for P0 is x square that is 1 square plus y square r minus half whole square minus r square that is 1 plus r square plus 1 by 4 minus r minus r square r square r square cancel 5 by 4 minus r this is initial decision parameter suppose if the radius is an integer the value is 1 minus r value of the initial decision parameter is 1 by 1 minus r. Now, after calculating initial decision parameter, the next step is calculate the next decision for selecting these points. Suppose if pk value is less than 0, pk value is less than 0, the next coordinate is xk plus 1 comma yk. Now the addition parameter p k plus 1 is equal to p k plus 2 into x k plus 1. y k plus 1 means next to y coordinate. Next to y coordinate is fixed that is y k plus y square k minus y square k minus y k minus y k plus 1. So the answer is p k plus 2 into x k plus 1 plus 1. These two terms are cancelled. These two terms are cancelled. Now next case is p k greater than or equal to 0. The next two coordinate is x k plus 1 comma y k minus 1. So substitute p k plus 1 is equal to p k plus 2 into x k plus 1 plus y k plus 1 value means y k minus 1. So y k minus 1 whole square minus y square k 
माइनस वाई के माइनस वन माइनस वाई के प्लस वन सो दैट मींस पी के प्लस टू इनटू एक्स के प्लस वन प्लस ए माइनस बी गोस पर फॉर्मूला वाई स्क्वायर के प्लस वन माइनस टू वाई के माइनस वाई स्क्वायर के सो दिस वाई के एंड दिस वाई के आर कैंसिल माइनस इनटू माइनस प्लस सो प्लस वन प्लस वन सो बाय रिमूविंग दिस वन सो फॉर्मूला इस पी के प्लस टू इनटू एक्स के प्लस वन सो आंसर दिस वाई स्क्वायर माइनस के वाई स्क्वायर माइनस के कैंसिल प्लस वन प्लस वन प्लस थ्री थ्री माइनस टू वाई के दिस इज़ द फॉर्मूला पी के प्लस वन इज़ इक्वल टू पी के प्लस टू इनटू एक्स के प्लस वन प्लस थ्री माइनस टू वाई के इफ पी के वैल्यू इज़ ग्रेटर देन आर इक्वल टू जीरो बाय यूजिंग दिस डायरेक्ट Suppose again, if you want to simplify, so the simplification is p k plus x k plus one means the next x coordinate. Simply, this is represented as x k plus one plus. Suppose written this one as one plus two minus two y k. Three is divided into one plus two p k plus two x k plus one plus one. Suppose minus two y k minus one. Suppose this is taken minus two is taken as a common minus two y k minus into minus plus two. So this is converted into this one. Y k minus one means the next two y coordinate. So finally this is represented as p k plus two x k plus one minus two y k plus one. Plus one. This is the equation. In this equation, remember x k plus one value means the next two x coordinate. Y k plus one value means the next two y coordinate. That means y k minus one. This is the midpoint circle algorithm. Now consider an example. The radius is equal to ten. So according to derivation, this is the formula. Less than zero, this point. Greater than or equal to zero, this is the point. So initially calculate the decision parameter p not is equal to one minus r. That is one minus ten. P not is equal to minus nine. So draw the line. K, p k. The next two point x k plus one comma y k plus one. K is equal to zero. P not value is equal to minus nine. P not value is less than zero. So each and every time throughout the entire procedure, each and every time x value is incremented by one. So first point is zero comma r. That is the first point is zero comma ten. Now the next point is one comma y k plus one. That is the next y coordinate is same y k. That is one comma ten. Now calculate p one. P1 is equal to P0 that is minus 9 plus 2 into xk plus 1 xk plus 1 value is 1 plus 1 that means minus 9 plus 3 that is minus 6 now 1 minus 6 less than 0 so less than 0 means y value is again same y value P2 is equal to P1 that is minus 6 plus 2 into x k plus 1 2 plus 1 minus 6 plus 4 minus 2 minus 1 and 2 minus 1 again less than 0 x value is always incremented by 1 y value becomes again less than 0 that means y value is same then P3 is equal to P3 is equal to minus 1 plus 2 into 3. 2 into x k plus 1 plus 1. That is value is 6. 3, 6. 6. P k value is greater than or equal to 0. So greater than or equal to 0 means this is the y value. So y value is decremented by 1. Now y value becomes 9. And P4 value is equal to P k. That is P three six plus two into x k plus one value is four 
minus 2 into yk plus 1 value is 9 plus 1. So the value is 6 plus 8. 6 plus 8, 14. 14 plus 1, 15. 15 minus 18, that means minus 3. Now 4, minus 3. So the point is 5 comma 9, same y coordinate, 5 comma 9. P5 is equal to, P5 is equal to minus 3 plus 2 into 5 plus 1. So 10 minus 3, 7, 7 plus 1, 8, 5, 8. So greater than 0, x value is 6, y value is decremented by 1. So P6 is equal to 8 plus 2 into 6 minus 2 into 8 plus 1. 2 into xk plus 1 minus 2 into yk plus 1 plus 1. So 8 plus 12, 20, 20 minus 16, 4, 4 plus 1, 5, 6, 5, 7, greater than 0, value is decremented by 1, 7 comma 7, P7 value is equal to, so P7 value is equal to 5 plus 2 into 7 minus 2 into 7 plus 1, the value is 6. So we are continuing the procedure, wherever we have to stop. So in circular algorithm, we are calculating only one octet. Suppose we are calculating from 0 comma R. So 0 comma R means we are stop the procedure whenever x coordinate value is greater than y coordinate value. So in this x value is 7, y value is also 7, x greater than or equal to y condition is satisfied. We stop the procedure. That is the first octet is constructed. Based on these values, we are calculating the remaining 7 octets to construct an entire circle. Thank you.